Season 8 has just begun, which means everyone is going to be focused on leveling up their brand new battle pass to get all the cool shiny new skins. Whether you're going for Fabio Sparklemane, JB Chipmansky, or the legendary Carnage all the way at the top of the pass, today we're going over some of the best strategies for you to rise up through the levels of the Fortnite Season 8 Battle Pass as fast as possible. But hey, before we get into any of that, remember that if you want a competitive edge in your next game of Fortnite, you need to head over to ProGuides.com. We've got some of the very best coaches in the world, and all they want to do is help you become the very best Fortnite player that you can be. All you need to do is click the link in the description right now. So before we go into any of the information regarding how to level up, we're going to break down how much XP you need for each level, because things have actually changed this season, and it's not great news for you Battle Pass grinders. In previous seasons, you've needed a total of 7,570,000 XP, but in Season 8, that number has gone up to 7,700,000 XP exactly. That's over 100,000 XP more, which might not sound like a lot, but with the new XP systems that have been added this season, it's going to make it just a little bit harder to earn. This change primarily kicks in at level 7. In previous seasons, you would need to earn 60,000 XP at level 7 to reach level 8, with the number eventually going up to 80,000 per level when you get to level 21. Well, in season 8, the XP per level goes up to 80,000 per level immediately when you get to level 7, so grinding those earlier levels is going to be just a bit tougher than before, which means you're going to need to follow the information in this video to the letter. If you want to level up as fast as possible, then we're going to have to start right at the beginning. You can't just go into the advanced stuff without a solid base to build on, so let's go over the basics first. Obviously, to level up in Fortnite, you're going to need to play the game a whole lot, and the better you do in your games, the faster you're going to see your levels begin to rise. Getting high numbers of eliminations, scoring wins, and overall just lasting longer will be ways that you can get the most XP to level up fast. So, if you want to maximize your effectiveness in-game and level up as quickly as you possibly can, then you're going to need to employ just a little bit of strategy into your games. I know, I know, you want a hot drop at the new locations every single time you load the game up, but that's not going to be very great for your long-term survival. Use your strategic skills and go for eliminations while playing safe enough to get as many wins as possible. W keying isn't going to be your friend here, that's just an easy way to get eliminated. So you're not W keying, which means you're going to be surviving a lot longer. That in turn means that you're going to have the opportunity to do some other things on the island. While you're walking around, make sure you open as many containers as you possibly can. Ranging from chests to ammo crates to produce boxes, these will all give you XP for every single one that you open. As well as that, picking up things like cabbages or apples from the ground will also give you XP every time you pick them up. Another pretty basic practice in every Fortnite season that will help you gain some XP, especially in this season, are the challenges and quests present in the game that you can complete for a massive amount of XP. Challenges and quests have always been a vital part of Fortnite, and they are essential for leveling up through the battle pass quickly, but quests have changed just a little bit this time around. Instead of the daily and weekly quests that we've all become used to, you're instead going to be completing NPC characters' punch cards. To begin with, there are daily and weekly punch cards. These are overall punch cards that aren't tied to a character and don't use up your five punch card slots. Completing these three dailies and three weeklies will give you a load of XP just for doing them, so it is worth checking them out in the challenges tab and completing them all as fast as you can. To begin an actual punch card quest, Select an NPC from the punch card list in the challenges tab and then visit them during a match. Each of the NPC quest lines have 5 steps in total, and there are currently 15 NPCs with punch cards in the game right now. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting any of the normal weekly or daily quests this season, so you're just going to have to wait for your punch cards to reset to earn any more XP from them. Luckily, each punch card does give you an insane amount of XP. And with 5 quests being attributed to 15 different characters, that's actually like 75 quests for you to complete, which should end up taking a fair amount of time. Before we go any further, let's do our question of the day. Today, we want to know what skin you're grinding the battle pass for this season. Personally, I really want that Carnage skin. I absolutely love the Venom franchise, so having some maximum Carnage in my locker would make me pretty happy. But what about you? What skin are you trying to pick up? 
Let us know in the comments below and we'll read every single one. Earning XP in the Battle Royale mode of the game can take quite a while, so we should also look at the other modes in the game to get the maximum amount of XP possible when your punch cards are complete. The next best way to gain XP is the Imposters game mode, which is still available in Fortnite. For playing through a match, you'll bank a whole bunch of XP even if you don't make it to the end of the round. If you feel like you need a break from Battle Royale, then jump into Imposters and gain a lot of XP for your trouble because it looks like Imposters is going to be one of the best ways to grind this season. In fact, if you have some friends that are willing to cheese the system, there's an even easier way to grind XP with the Imposters game mode. If you and three other friends go into a private game of Imposters and play for about two and a half minutes before having the Imposter ejected from the game, then you're going to get a lot of XP. Do as many tasks in this time as you can, and you'll be earning up to 20k XP in just those two and a half minutes. This is a by far the most effective way to gain XP in Season 8, beating out literally any other method in the game right now. The only downside being, you do need to have friends that are willing to grind out with you. Still, even if you don't have friends on hand to help grind through the battle pass with you in a private game of Imposters, you should be playing the Imposters game mode normally anyway. You gain so much XP from this game mode that it is absolutely insane. Just like last season, Creative is actually still one of the very best ways to gain XP in Fortnite. This is because Creative Mode awards XP based on playtime. All you have to do is spend time playing creative games or hanging out just to level up. You can earn a maximum of 126,000 XP every single day by playing Creative if you play the mode for an hour and 15 minutes. So if you were a Creative XP grinder last season, then your strategy still works in Season 8. And hey, if you don't actually play Creative, but you still want to gain that all-important XP, you can actually just AFK in creative. You don't even need to be moving. Okay, Fortnite fam, that's it for today's video. We hope that you take our information and use it to get as much XP as possible this season, especially by grinding out that imposters mode with your friends. We're going to have even more incredible tips and tricks over the course of this Fortnite season, so if you haven't done so already, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed with the bell button turned on so you never miss a single video going forward. Also, remember to like this video if you think it helped you out. Anyway, with that all said, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>